Hi, welcome to the Unit 4B Shapes of Molecules video. The purpose of this video is to help you to recognize or see the shapes of molecules drawn in a VSCPR fashion. If you're looking to determine shapes or molecular geometries or even electron domain geometries from Lewis dot structures, for that you want to watch the video on using the VSCPR chart because we will not address that here. All right, so as we've talked about throughout this unit, Lewis dot structures are limited because um, real molecules, and here's like an, a model of a, of a real molecule of methane, they are three-dimensional um, and they um, have volume and they have certain angles that you can't see in a Lewis dot structure as shown below. So because Lewis dot structures have these limitations that we can't determine the shapes or the bond angles from them, we have to use VSCPR structures. And here's an example of a VSCPR structure. So you notice in the VSCPR structure, we use these wedge lines to show, um, this dark wedge line to show bonds coming out of the plane of the paper. And so this would correspond to this bond here. And then the dashed line to indicate bonds going back into the paper. So this would correspond to this bond going back here. And then the straight lines are are bonds that are directly on the plane of the paper. Now because um, VSCPR structures are sort of arranged in that way where um, you can see here for example that this bond angle is greater than 90 for instance, um, it gives us more information. It gives us information that we can use to predict the shape and predict the bond angles. So what exactly are these shapes that we are that we refer to in VSCPR structures? There are several shapes that we have to know in this course. There are, of course, many more shapes that we don't address, but um, here are the main ones um, that are presented here. All of these shapes are adjectives, so they describe nouns, and as a result, um, they'll have certain suffixes like al or ar sometimes um, because they're adjective. However, the root words um, does imply the shape that we see in the VSCPR structures. So let's take a look at some of these uh, terms and structures that match those terms. Starting with linear. So you can see in the word linear, the word line. So linear is something that's shaped like a line. An example of a molecule like that is HCN. And you can clearly see that this looks like a line. Angular or bent is something that's shaped like an angle or a bent line. An example molecule that would sort of match that would be water. So you can clearly see when water is drawn in this VSCPR form, you can see that it looks like a bent line if you trace the molecule. Trigonal planar, it's um, shaped like a flat triangle. So, um, and that comes from two words, trigonal meaning triangle and planar meaning flat. So here's an example of a trigonal planar molecule. COCl2, also known as phosgene. And if you connect the terminal atoms together, you can clearly trace a triangle. Now, I wanted to just point out here that this is the VSCPR structure of phosgene, but let's compare it to its Lewis dot structure. The Lewis dot structure of phosgene, it's not so clear that this is a trigonal planar. In fact, this looks like another shape that um, can be found in the VSCPR theory, even though it's a shape we don't cover, but there's a shape called T-shape. This sort of looks like an upside down T. Also, the bond angles here, they're, these are 90 degrees, and this bond angle here is 180 degrees, but the actual structure of phosgene, the bond angles are closer to 120. Okay, next one we're gonna look at is trigonal pyra pyramidal. Um, so here's our example of that, um, NH3, trigonal pyramidal st structure. And you can sort of trace this out. First of all, the word trigonal implies triangle, and the triangle can be found in the, the base of the pyramid. So this darker triangle here is the base of the pyramid, and I just traced that out by connecting the terminal atoms. Now to form the pyramid um, structure, you essentially connect all the terminal atoms to that central atom there and form sort of this apex. So you can clearly see that this looks like a pyramid with a triangular base. 
if you compare once again the NH3 via CPR structure to the Lewis dot structure, you would see that the Lewis dot structure once again doesn't really show you the correct bond angles or shape. The shape of NH3 looks again more like T shaped um, than it does trigonal pyramidal. So that's why via CPR structures are important um, for determining shapes. Okay, next we have tetrahedral. So a tetrahedral comes from the word tetrahedron, which looks similar to a trigonal pyramid. We'll talk about the differences in a moment. But let's look at an example of that, CH4. And um, once again, if you trace the um, bottom three terminal atoms here, it will make sort of this triangular base. And if you connect them up to the top, sort of make more of a pyramid type structure. Um, and so you can clearly see here, these two sh shapes look similar. Now, if you compare the VSCPR structure of methane to its Lewis dot structure, once again, that VSCPR structure um, is a better representation of the shape, whereas the Lewis dot structure looks more cross-shaped. Cross All right, let's talk about the differences between trigonal, pyramidal, and tetrahedral. So by putting them side by side, you first thing you'll notice is that the tetrahedral is taller. So let's find out why the tetrahedral structures are taller by looking at the corresponding molecules. So for trigonal pyramidal, um, we looked at NH3, and for tetrahedral, we looked at CH4. So take a moment to look at this and see why um, is the tetrahedral structure taller than the trigonal pyramidal structure. Okay, so let's take a look and um, see if we can determine that by getting rid of these um, sort of those dashed lines that we had there or those dotted lines that we had there to identify the shape. So as you can see in the tetrahedral structure, there's an extra bond, right? So if we go back here, this extra bond is going to make the structure taller. Whereas with NH3, there's no bond there. This, the top bond is replaced by a lone pair. And so that's what makes it shorter because the top of this pyramid is where the central atom or nitrogen is. Here, the top of this tetrahedral structure is where that uh, terminal hydrogen is. So that's what makes it, it um, taller. So if you'll notice in both cases, they both have four electron domains, but in NH3, one of the electron domains is a lone pair, and in CH4, that extra bond on top just makes it taller. Okay, so here's a summary of all the shapes that you um, sh need to be able to recognize for this unit. Um, so it's helpful if you can recognize them so that when you go to using the VSTPR chart, the words and the terminologies would make more sense to you. That's it for this video. Have a quality day.